Alright, so this is a television horror film uh, directed by Russ Craven, stars Linda Blair, who I guess was 19 at the time. It's, it has it goes by two different names, like one in Europe, it's Summer of Fear, but then in, I guess, uh, when it premiered, it was... That's also known as Stranger in Our House. Which, yeah, basically this woman, this girl, you find out later on, not who she claims to be. Um, I mean, it's a, t it's a, it's a television, you know, for the late 70s. Um, the acting's fine in this, the story, I mean, you have Linda Blair playing a character. Um, Rachel, and then you have a little kid, a younger brother of hers, uh, Bobby. Um, then you have another guy from a. I I couldn't tell. I guess he. I guess he is the also the older brother, but he wasn't really much needed at the like he didn't really do anything at the end, so I'm like, wow, um, but yeah, basically this girl, Julia, she lost her parents recently, so she's living with Linda Blair and her family, and stuff goes on where, where she, be, where at first Julia's seen as this shy, recluse girl, she ends up soon changing into like a, a sophisticated, and uh, more developed person to the point where she literally, you know, there's a dance coming up, and then Linda Blair can't go because she has blemish. She has like these hives on her face and body, and then uh, Julia ends up gets she gets to go, but she's being taken by Linda Blair's boyfriend, who then falls in love with her with Julia. And then, I didn't understand at the end, we're like, you know, oh, everything's uh, happy, and I'm going to get back together with you, and even though you ditched me for my cousin, who wasn't really my cousin, but I guess water under the bridge, <laughs> whatever. I didn't understand, I didn't really care for that portion of the end. Like, I would have liked it where um, they would just stayed friends or something, but like, the fact that she... I, I don't know. That part, I didn't, I didn't like that character choice for her. Um, I mean, they I guess they run like a... They run a farm with horses, and one of the horses, uh, Rachel's horse, goes crazy. He sees Julia. He knows there's something up with her, and they have to put the horse down at one point. And then we have this professor guy that she talks to later on, and then he gets in trouble uh, in the hospital. And, I mean, again, it's not really, it's more of a drama, um, thing. I would have liked it where it was more psychological, you know, or so. I don't know. I mean, you have this black magic talk and witchcraft stuff. I mean, Wes Craven, he did really good on, he did pretty decent on this, I'll say. Like it's nothing really special. Like it was, it wasn't really. It's not a bad movie. Uh, there's really no effects in this, up for maybe the uh, the cool explosion at the end where uh, Julia transforms into like this possessed witch form of hers, and she blows the door apart, which I thought was pr that was really cool. I liked her look as possessed. I thought she she looked. <laughs> She looked way hotter than, uh, possessed than she did normal. Um, but, but yeah, that stuff, and, um, then, Ju uh, at one point, Rachel gets, like, a, I guess, a premonition? Um, I guess, because then, because towards the end, because she dreams of a car speeding, and then it shows her on the road, and I guess that is a premonition, because that's what happens at the end, where, 
spoilers. Uh, everybody lives except. Well, actually, yeah, everybody. Yeah, everybody lives. <laughs> really. So, really, nobody dies except. Um, I guess the horse. I guess the horse died. But no human people really died. I mean, I, I, mean, I guess if you count Julia's parents, but. Then. That the, but then uh, I didn't understand because, um, I mean, they explain stuff, but again, I, she's not really Julie, she's not really related to them at all. So they, it's sort of like that movie, uh, The Visit, if, you know, if it wasn't supernatural. <laughs> or I mean, if it was supernatural in that movie versus here. Where it is, um, but yeah, pretty much. Uh, Julia survives the crash at the end, and then she gets to another place, uh, posing as a nanny. So yeah, she survived, even though I didn't see her jump out of the car, or rolling t the car down the hillside, and it blows up right away. But okay, I guess she's immortal. I guess because she is a witch. I guess. No, I don't know what really you could have done with this. I don't know how the book actually goes. Um, but yeah, overall, I didn't mind it. I thought it was a okay watch. Um, I wouldn't say it's anything special, but it was fine. The acting was fine. Linda Blair, she's fine. 